welcome to my channel so in this video I'm going to go through this um, uh, specific question called product of the last k numbers and uh, at the end of the video I'm going to go through the general stuff we should follow in a real interview so let's get started before we start the real content for today uh, I would really appreciate that if you can help subscribe this channel because it can help me to grow so thanks a lot let's read through this problem implement implement the class product of numbers that support two methods add so the add is going to add the number to the back of the current list of the number and get product it is going to return the product of the last k numbers in the current list and I can assume that always the current list has at least k numbers and uh, at any time the product of any contiguous sequence of the numbers will fit into a uh, int 32 uh, without overflowing okay so let's take a look at this case uh, we add a couple numbers and we get product of the last k numbers return that okay so let's see there are at most 4,000 of for, okay 40,000 operations considering add and product get product so the number is between 0 to 100 and k is between 1 to 40k so the special thing is um, if there is a if there is zero uh, I would say that that could be so if we add zero that could be some uh, special case um, considering what is a general approach you're trying to implement using so currently um, the thing I can think of is to use to store the prefix uh, product and then um, for to store the prefix product the add and the get product operation both going to be all of one so uh, let's see how this piece of code is implemented so essentially we keep uh, add index product map which is the prefix product and also the last zero index uh, the 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 last the index of the last zero which is pretty special and the count like how many uh, numbers we have already added so here um, we use big integer because there is uh, some overflow stuff in the test case so I use big integer here uh, so we initialize hash map and we put a 0 1 here um, so count is equal so 0 1 means uh, when there are zero numbers then the product we keep it as one intentionally uh, which is for simple uh, computation for get product so count has equal to zero uh, there are zero numbers uh, already so the last zero index is minus one so essentially uh, initially uh, when we call the add we are going to plus plus the count because we add a new number into it and the last zero index is equal to count if the current number is zero then we put if the number is zero then we just we just don't compute the prefix product product with this number but it, it, instead we directly put the last prefix we have already computed into the last in, into the map otherwise if it's not zero then we put uh, the count as the index uh, which is a key and value is uh, the pr previous prefix product times the current number so when we call the get product we just need to see so first of all we need to see whether the last in zero index is uh, after the count minus k so if the last k number includes zero then we just directly return zero otherwise we will do a computation which is to get the prefix product of um, every number until every number divided by uh, the prefix product of uh, all the numbers from the start to count minus k and then we are going to um, return the int value because we are using the big int so uh, that's pretty much it um, so regardless of the API call for the big integer so the add and, and the get product is going to be uh, all of one um, but uh, uh, for the big integer operation there could be some additional complexity so in a real interview uh, usually you start to understand the problem um, so don't don't jump into the coding part too quickly so that's a big red flag so you start understanding the problem and uh, if there's anything unclear bring up the question and also think about some edge cases and uh, the next part is going to uh, 
be about like think about a solution, talk with the interviewer, do some runtime space analysis, uh, try to justify the efficiency, and also uh, at the same time uh, you will need to get an agreement with your interviewer. So after that, you will need to do some coding work. So for coding, take care about the readability, uh, the correctness, and uh, don't be too slow. And uh, at the end, also don't don't forget to do some testing because uh, many people forget to do testing. They just uh, put the code there and they see it done, but it's not done. So you still need to do some testing to make sure about uh, that piece of code is bug free. So that's it for uh, this uh, coding question. So if you have any question about uh, the solution or whatever, uh, feel free to leave some comments below. If you like this video, please help subscribe this channel. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.